All right. So here we are a week after the election. How would you rate the performance of Democrats in Arizona? Well, I would uh, define our state as blue. We have two U.S. senators uh, from the Democratic Party. That hasn't happened in over 60 years. We've sent our electoral college votes to uh, the Biden-Harris team. We picked up another corporation commission seat. Uh, we maintained our position in our state house, and we gained a, a really blue uh, flip in uh, LD28. Uh, I would say our performance uh, is great. All right. Now, earlier this week, I spoke with your counterpart in the Republican side of things, and she said this race is not over. The Senate race is still up for grabs. The presidential, uh, as you know, there's ongoing litigation about the state of Arizona. So how do you see that moving forward here in the next few weeks? Is it over? Well, these lawsuits that have been filed, you need facts and you need evidence. And we believe that these lawsuits are based upon conspiracy theories, falsehoods, they need to go through the legal process, but at the end of the day, uh, the vote count was solid, orderly, legal, and we're going to be on the winner's circle. Let's talk about these shades of blue, because depending on which media you are consuming, uh, there's a conversation. Is it purple? Is it light? As you know, in some rural parts of Arizona, the conservative stronghold still holds. So how do you see that sort of unraveling here over the next couple of years as you look toward another election? Well, I want to start with what we gained in 2018 and how we have maintained those gains in 2020. Sure, we had a very, very aggressive strategic program to flip historically red seats up and down the ballot. Um, we were successful in some. We weren't successful in others. We just need to look at the data. We need to analyze uh, the things we did well, look at the opportunities, and then launch that into our 2022 campaign, which will be equally as aggressive. Where are some of the areas that you think the party fell short? Well, I can tell you that in a presidential year, there's over a million more voters. And we knew as a battleground state that the Republican would work, Republicans would work very hard to maintain their advantage, uh, and we had to work even harder. We believe that we picked up a lot of votes in the rural counties because we were really organizing there. We lost in terms of majority vote from a lot of our rural counties, but we are gonna to continue to organize and we know the momentum is in our favor from 2018 and 2020. Um, we have we held on to our congressional majority that we picked up in 2018. We still have five, four majority in our Congress and that will continue as well. How do you do that? How do you convince some longtime conservative Republicans that this Democratic party, I don't know if it's a new party or if it's being rebranded, but how do you convince them that this party might be for them? Well, you look at what happened in 2020. Joe Biden and Mark Kelly built a coalition of supporters from all walks of life, people of faith, people of conscience, Republicans, Democrats, and independents. And they voted for our Democratic candidates because we're the ones talking about values, the values that all Arizonans care about. And we're the, also the candidates in the party that are going to roll up our sleeves, get to business, and really solve the problems that uh, are facing everyone today. At the state level, Republicans still hold the majority in the House and Senate when um, 21, which is right around the corner here in January. Uh, how do you see that sort of uh, challenging the Democrats who are in the state legislature and who would like to craft policy? Well, I saw a difference in the 2018 legislative session uh, when you compare it to the 2020 we gained so much in 2018 that Democrats and Republicans did work together in 2020 um, for more bipartisan policies and legislation. With our gain of another seat in the state Senate, Legislative District 28, um, Republicans are going to have to work with the Democrats. Um, and I believe that will be an advantage that um, will be beneficial to the entire state. All right, Felicia Rodolini, chairwoman of the Arizona Democratic Party, thank you. Thank you.